All right, folks, stocks meandering right now. As uh, we came into the session, waiting on the World Health Organization to designate the coronavirus, and of course, uh, you know, fears about all that lingering. But moments ago, the WHO did indeed say that the outbreak is not yet an international public health crisis or emergency. This, as some of today's earnings reports this morning, I, you know, let's call them not necessarily disappointing per se, but they didn't wow investors. Courtney, let me start with you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so this morning the market was essentially unchanged, and then uh, Comcast had a pretty good number, firmed up a little bit, but then Travelers beat, we went down. Kimberly, Kimberly Clark came out, we went down. Uh, you know, other big names, you know, particularly, you know, call them lumbering giants, consumer staples. I didn't see any disastrous results, but we sort of drifted lower and lower as these numbers came out. Yeah, and I think we are still really early in earnings seasons right now. It's only a small portion of companies that have come out. But I, what I'm really interested to see is not just how they're reporting for the fourth quarter, but forward looking for next year. What is their guidance looking like, especially in light of the fact that we do have some trade wars that are finally getting figured out, and if that's going to lead to their optimism of better year in 2020. In the meantime, we have on the screen uh, Teradyne and, and STM. They did beat. They did blow the cover off the ball. And in addition to that, Morgan Stanley upgraded uh, advanced micro upgraded micron so you got two of the two of the three biggest winners of 2019 still getting upgrades you got chips posting blowout numbers mm -hmm. I, I mean is this still the sector that momentum sector you can't avoid that you've got to have exposure to you yeah. There's just so much optimism I'm still looking into 2020. Last year, yes, we saw valuations really widening because we saw people were getting more optimistic. Prices were going up. The earnings haven't yet caught up. But I think there's a lot of optimism going forward that you're going to see those earnings catch up, which will mean those valuations are reasonable. And I think we can still get in. Uh, the, this virus, uh, World Health Organization, uh, we, certainly I think we dodged the bullet in the sense that if they would have said that this was some sort of epidemic, global, potentially global epidemic, we, the Dow would be off at least 200 points, probably more. Uh, how do you factor something like that into, into your investment thesis? I think long term, I, I don't really see it having an effect. And right now, there are a lot of comparisons between that and SARS. And I think what's really fascinating is if you look at what the markets did back then, yes, there was a pullback. The S&P 500 was down about 8%. But within six months, it recovered and it was up about 19%. So it's just this uncertainty that the markets don't like. But long term, it really doesn't have an effect.